Thanks for tuning in. I hope today's video will solve a problem that's just not unique to me and will actually be able to help a few people out there. So the question is, are you overloaded with a bunch of stickers of your favorite brands or companies? Well, I think I have the right solution to make sure that our stickers do not go to waste. Although most of the stickers are pretty generic and I could probably just get another copy of them. Some of my stickers are from car events, uh, so obviously they're dated and they're going to be a little bit more unique or more of a special edition run of a sticker. I haven't wanted to put any of these stickers anywhere just because I don't know what I'm going to keep forever and I don't want to have to lose those stickers. I know a lot of people will put their stickers on a toolbox, but I don't really have a big toolbox that I know I'm going to have for a long time. I do have my little roller cart, but again, there's not too much room on there for this massive pile of stickers. So, what I've done is I've gotten some magnet sheets that actually have an adhesive side on them or I can just place the stickers on them and then I can cut the magnets out to size and my stickers are now removable and I can move them to different places if I need to. So let's try it with a couple stickers and see how it looks. My collection of stickers is pretty diverse. We have uh, local car clubs, some car part companies, uh, mostly BMW stuff, of course, some brewery stickers have mixed in, as well as some genomic science related stickers. So I'm going to start out with an easy shape, just a square here. Um, and again, the sheets that I bought, they have a sticker side as well as the magnetic side. So I can either peel the plate off and put the sticker with its backing still on there, or I can always just peel that off, peel the backing off the sticker and get them together before I cut anything out. I think on easy shapes I can just put it right on, but something with a little bit more design to it, I think that might be easier just to stick that on. Everything I'll be using will be uh, linked down in the description if you want to go ahead and get any of the materials to do this yourself. So I'll start getting the sticky side of our magnet ready. For this first one, like I said, I'll leave the backing plate on it, but we'll go ahead and get it stuck on. So if you're really nervous about wasting a sticker, having it like that, I can always just peel it off and stick it permanently somewhere eventually. So now I have an, my X-Acto knife and I'll just trace out the sticker. And with this one, there is a bit of a white overlap, so I'll be able to trim that out as well. Forgot it was sticky. There we have it. A sticker, now is a magnet, that can still be peeled off as a sticker. Yeah, so there's one sticker magnet done. I'm gonna run through a few more, maybe throw them on my card just to show some more finished products. Should be a quick video, definitely a quick activity to do if you're a little bit worried about uh, wasting or putting your stickers on something that won't last. It's like bringing arts and crafts to car people. We can't always just be wrenching on our cars. We have to do something else to spend some time in the garage. And who knows, maybe someday I'll make my own stickers and magnets for the channel. If you decide to do this, let me know what kind of stickers you're making into magnets. Thanks for watching.